Birds, dogs, and deer. What do they all have in common? Hey Crafty Friends, it's Christy and I'm super excited to be sharing with you some of the new releases from Spellbinders. So Spellbinders puts out a collection, um, a couple different collections every month, and I get to pick a couple of the different die sets that come in the collection and I am going to be sharing with you the dies. Now I'm not going to have any finished cards in today's video but I do have everything cut out so you can see what it looks like. If you want to see the finished cards head over to my website I will have that all over there and I will also link all of the dies that I used from into or showing today in today's video down below. Let's go ahead and get started looking at all of the new dies that are being released today. We're gonna to start off with looking at the Holiday Cheer Collection, which is a super cute collection. If you're a pet lover, if you have cats or dogs, you're really gonna love this collection. And um, I have two cats and a dog, so I just thought this was the cutest collection. And I have a little story I can share with uh, some of the sayings in one of these die sets. Um, again, I will leave a link to my blog in the card above or in the description below if you want to go over there and see any of the finished cards that I've made using these dies. Uh, let's get started. I have, so first of all, they did send me um, this Winter Borders die set, which is something that was already out, but it does have uh, snowflakes and some holly. And then there's other dies right here that can be used for year round, which is fantastic. So I thought that was just a nice little die set, but this one right here is the surprise box. This came out, I think, two months ago. And you can build up a little box in this. And I'm gonna show you what you could do with this. I thought I think this is clever, and I'm glad they sent that to me because I thought um, uh, I had a good idea for this. So I have the first uh, one is a non-die set, but it's called Christmas Pops. And I pulled this out and was just playing around with coloring. So I usually leave these on my desk and when I'm feeling inspired during between now and the time of release, I'll go ahead and just pull things out and just kind of start playing with them. So this one is um, the only stamp set that I got this year time and it's called Christmas Pups. And it has all these adorable little puppies on here and all these cute little sayings. So there's Happy Howl Days, Yappy New Year, Fleece Naughty Dog, <laughs> which that's cute. Santa's Little Helper, um, We Woof You a Merry Christmas. Lots of cute little sentiments and I love these little guys. And like I said, I did go ahead and just kind of play around with, with coloring some of these cute little guys that are in this set and you know, super cute. Um, another little sentiment or another thing they have is called, is just the classic Happy Holidays. And I love the script on this. So I die cut, I, I die cut everything so that you can see what they look like. I'm just not going to show you the dies, but the Happy Holidays is just a classic and can be used um, all the time. And this one is the cutest. I really love this. And it's going to be a little bit parts over here, but this is called Special Pet Delivery. And that's where I'm thinking about this little dog box right here. And after I show you the dies, the sentiment dies that go with this, I have a story to share with you. This one, you can build a little cat or a dog, and I just think it's super cute. We have a frame, and we can put holiday hats or, or reindeer ears. So we have the frame. So that's this little scallop piece, and then there's a circle piece um, that you can cut out, or you can leave it solid. So you, don't even, you could just do the scallop part and leave that salad, solid, or you can die cut out the circle, or that's what this one is, or you could just die cut the white piece of cardstock and center it right on top of it. So either way. And then they have some sentiments here. I'm holding off the, the little dog and the cat until last because they're just so stinking cute. So we have um, two sentiments in here. It says hello and for you, which is super cute. And I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up. And then we have this little border right here, which is super adorable. Now to show you the cat and the dog. So my cat, I was trying to make him color him so it looked like my cat. But oh my goodness, is he not the cutest little thing? So you can build up this cat to have little um, a hat, you put antlers on him, and then we have the dog. So I made the dog look like um, our dog too. And I gave him antlers, not that my dog would ever leave the antlers on, um, but I just think this is the cutest little thing. They are so fun. There's all the parts to build these up. They're just super cute. And with that comes a stamp set called It's Not a Puppy. So I just think this is cute. So it's, you could do it's not a puppy or it's not a pony, it's not a kitty, or it's a kitty, 
Um, it's a puppy. It's a po I don't. It's a pony. So the story is, when we were younger, my dad got my mom a dog as a surprise, and my sister was walking into the house and says, "Don't worry, mom. There's no dog in the car." I thought my brother was gonna <laughs> was gonna slap her because she spoiled the surprise. But it was just we still talk about it to this day. And my sister was probably like, I don't know. She was very very young, under under five, I think. And we just talked. We still talk about that. But um, this is just the cutest thing. And this set just reminded me of that story, which was you know super fun. So so that's what I received from the holiday cheer collection. Whenever I'm working on a project, I use these little clear Velcro style envelopes from Amazon, and I will stick all of the items from the project into that folder so I'll keep all of these in here even though I die cut them I'm just gonna set them in here because I still have not created my cards as of the filming of this video but I still haven't created my projects for these yet but they are um, some of these are the images I'm gonna use in those uh, cards that I create they're just prepared so I can kind of just every day for a couple of days come to my craft room and start creating and make, being inspired uh, that way with the already pre-die cut images. So that's what I do. I just kind of get everything prepared, keep them inside these envelopes. I usually put a post-it note, which you can see right here, that has the name of the collection and the date of the release. So the next collection I wanna share with you is the Winter Tales collection and I am in love with this magical deer. So we have all of the parts to build a deer and I went ahead and die cut him and how stinking cute is that deer. So I'm gonna set him over here so you can see him a little bit better. I have just some pale or tannish colors and used like a soft blue and also did the flowers in there and I just love the way he turned out. I already have my piece of cardstock back here that I'm going to be using for my card and I just think he is the cutest little deer ever and I had so much fun putting all of these pieces together it took me quite a while to get all these little dots in for the reindeer, but oh my goodness, it was so much fun. Unfortunately, I had glue everywhere, but that is the fun part of crafting, is making a mess, right? And the other one I have from this collection is called Folk Song, and is this bird not the cutest? Again, these are all of these pieces can be inlaid. So what I do is I die cut in my solid color, and then I do a couple of other colors, and then I can inlay all of these pieces. And one of these times I'm gonna sit down and show you the easy way of doing these inlays as I figured it out with this little guy. So I just think this is the cutest little bird ever and I can't wait to make a card with that one. Our next collection is called Christmas Flourish. And I have three different die sets for this one and I already went ahead and put this one together because I just couldn't help it. I just kind of started putting it together. This one comes with this huge uh, big doily piece It's you know, just to give you an idea of the size, it's almost the size of my hand. And you have a frame piece, so you can actually create the background, and then you have the doily piece. And that is the gray piece is the frame, and then the white piece, or the off-white piece, is the doily. And then you get your joy sent to me, get some holly pieces and berries and stuff like that. So I went ahead and die cut this with the dark colored gray cardstock, an off-white, and then I used some um, brown, I think it was called mahogany, um, foam glitter sheets and then I also used joy to or put the joy and then to the world sentiment on here I just kind of was cutting and just started automatically putting this one together instead of leaving the pieces so you can see what it looks like um, but I really like uh, how that is and that is a fun one to play with so the next one is all hearts come home and I love this one so this one has this really cool frame die here that you can die cut that is just gorgeous. The intricate little trees and the little uh, presents down at the bottom, and then we also have Santa and the reindeer going across the top, and I love this one. And Spellbinders has on their website this die cut in gold, and I'm like, oh, I wanna do that. So it is so, so pretty. And then it also has, which is upside down, I'm aware, um, but I didn't wanna do another cardstock or another piece of cardstock, but this is the All Hearts Come Home die cut onto the banner so we have the the banner and the sentiment is separate and I just put it in an upside down I wasn't paying attention so so it should be this way with the words going in the right direction then we also have a little Christmas so we have the all heart, all hearts come home for Christmas I cut those out in that green card stock which is absolutely the cutest and maybe if you'll be able to see that better if I put it over in the white spot over here 
So we have Fort Christmas, and then we also have this little house. Now the house is, again, something that's die cut and it has all of these little intricate pieces, but you can die cut this in several different colors of cardstock, and you can put like a pink heart, and then you could do the windows or the, the details of the house in different colors. I just love that. I think that is super cute. And this is a really fun one, and I can't wait to put together a card with that one. So my last one to share today is the Sugar Plum Tweets die set and there are so many details to this super cute but you can build these two little birds right here so you can give one of them a little hat which is super cute and then we have uh, two different style birds and I just find these to be the cutest there's also this little flourish that you can die cut and even you know have it so that your birds are sitting on these two pieces or I my plan is to actually take this and maybe use it as a background image and um, again I will link that my blog if you want to check out any of the cards that I make with these sets. So we have also sentiments that come with this. It's a Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and we wish you a, so you can do, we wish you a Happy New Year or a Merry Christmas. And then we also get some little holly berries on here, or hollies with berries on here as well. And I even put one onto my little winter hat there. So that's the Spellbinder releases. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to head over my blog if you want to see any of the finished cards that I created using these die sets. Thanks for watching.